Hey there, this is Stacy Phillips and this is my video log for Saturday. Uh, it's actually the Saturday before I go to Paris um, to run my, my marathon and so I wanted to do just a little video um, called kind of a preface to Paris. It's kind of the first in the Paris series even though I'm not there. I wanted to explain just a little bit of the backstory about why I'm going, where I'm going, what I'm doing, how I got here, you know, just a couple little details like that. So any, anyway, my name is Stacy Phillips, and um, four years ago I started a journey that was just going to transform my entire life and pretty much everything I knew about life also. Um, I had grown up uh, struggling with my weight my entire childhood being, you know, going from one program, one diet to the next diet to the next diet. And, you know, in college I yo-yoed back and forth. Um, when I got married 22 years ago, I was at a healthy weight. Um, I had just gotten there again through a, another another diet, a series of dieting, had dropped about 40 pounds, and um, proceeded to gain about 10 to 15 pounds a year for the next um, 10 to 12 years. So um, I became uh, overweight and then obese and then morbidly obese relatively quickly after getting married at age 22, and um, pretty much remained there um, until... Well, it's a, it's a longer story than I'm going to put in this video, but put it this way. Four years ago, I found the program that was going to change my life, and I applied it. Um, and so four years ago, I, I began the program and um, attained a healthy weight over time. Um, very simple program, attained a healthy weight, and uh, as I was attaining a healthy weight, um, one of the, the healthy habits that um, was recommended was the habit of motion, healthy motion. Um, this is not a habit that uh, a, hab a healthy habit that we add in right away uh, for people because I am a coach for this plan as well. But this is not a um, uh, exercise is not something formal exercise is not something we put in right away to people's um, programs if they are obese or morbidly obese. They do need to um, do you know uh, non formal activities. You know, walk a little farther from their car, take the stairs as they can. These things that don't put too much of a stressor on their body until they're closer to um, overweight status or even in overweight status. So I just want to preface it by saying that I did not start out as an obese individual, um, morbidly obese, super obese. I actually started clinically super obese, um, class four with a cane um, at a BMI of 47. So um, uh, yes, I got stuck in the turnstiles at Disney World and that was kind of my wake up moment. I had to go through the stroller gate. <laughs> um, so I did not start out at that point um, really even having the aspirations of running a marathon. Um, literally, it was something that took shape through my journey um, as I was attaining a healthier weight and as the program was um, yielding results for me, I started to dream. Um, and that's one thing that, you know, they should put a, like a warning on this program when you get it, it you know, um, from the company. It should say, you know, warning, your dreams may exceed, you know, your wildest uh, assumptions about yourself um, if you continue on in this manner in this program. So anyway, um, when I was closer to overweight, and I think maybe even in the overweight status, I, um, I started the, the, a, a really mild running program because I did enjoy running. I found something I loved to do, something that wouldn't be like pulling teeth or, you know, big bummer or any of that. I found something I found joy in, and I, and I have always liked running. So um, my son's inside, so I just keep looking to see if he's coming out. I'm going to be a part of the video again. Um, so I found something I loved to do, and I started to do it. And that's really, about, uh, really what the healthy habits are all about, you know, instituting them in our lives and um, doing it in an incremental way. You know, so many of us have the personalities that when we want something, we just dive in, bulk feet, you know, we jump before we look and we, we, we're immersed in it and, you know, we're, we're, we're doing a program and we're doing exercise and we go to the gym and we, you know, we do all these things at once and it's not sustainable. Um, we burn out and it's not good for our bodies either. It's a lot of stress to throw, throw at us at one time. So, um, the way that really um, healthy habits can be harnessed to bring us into a life of health is by adding them incrementally. 
when you're ready, when, when it is the next step, add that healthy habit in and repeat it daily, every day. Um, and uh, so anyway, I began this, um, you know, just lightly running. I mean, the program that I used was, uh, you know, I don't want to endorse any program here on the video, but the program that I used literally was a series of podcasts and it had me, you know, run for a minute, walk for five. Great, run for another minute, walk for five. You know, and that was the first week, and I thought I was going to die. It was so hard. Um, but I just kept improving. I kept pushing through the hard, just knowing that, you know, trusting trusting the program, trusting my body, trusting, um, you know, that I was doing things correctly and, um, and, and doing the work. And, you know, you can't be afraid of the work. Um, you can't be afraid of a little hard work. But... Um, just doing that because what started forming in my brain was this, you know, this master plan of running a marathon someday. You know, whoa, you know, like, whoa, me running a marathon. I just, I couldn't even conceive it until I even thought that maybe tiny bit was possible. And this program allowed me to dream again, um, like beyond obesity. <laughs> and uh, so I started to dream. So this um, trip kind of took shape, uh, you know, every, every uh, year I would think, okay, is this the year, is this the year? Because I had decided that if I was going to run a marathon, I wanted to run it in France. I wanted to run the Paris Marathon in, in France. You know, that, like I said, go big or go home. Sometimes I still do that. So, um, but this, this dream of mine started to take shape. And, and, and as I began improving and as I got into a healthy BMI and attained optimal health, I, um, I, I transitioned and, and started my maintenance program and I began to train for my, for my full marathon. You know, and a caveat on this, our, our, the program that we, we utilize, if you're in the weight loss phase, if you're not a healthy weight yet or healthy BMI and that's the phase you started in, it's not a, an appropriate phase to train for a marathon, for a full marathon. Um, get to your healthy weight, get to your um, healthy BMI and transition to maintenance. And um, at that point, you can train for your full marathon because the runs are just too long. They're not within the exercise guidelines of our plan. So that is what I did. I followed the advice of, of um, our, our program of plan experts. Um, so, um, but I booked my ticket about six months ago and I'm headed to Paris on Thursday. Today is Saturday, so in less than seven days I'll be on a plane to go to Paris, France. I'm going by myself. My husband and son will support me from home with their moral support. Um, and I'm going to stay on a houseboat at the base of the Eiffel Tower, uh, from which I will be doing, if I can get the Wi-Fi all figured out, the boat does have Wi-Fi, um, I will do daily uh, vlog updates here on my YouTube video channel. So, and the, they'll sometimes some days they'll be whimsical updates, and some days they'll just be kind of what I did that day. And you know, I'll try to include um, a tidbit about you know health and what got me here. Um, I just want to show you though, because um, my husband mentioned this morning that you know with 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 this that I'm co accomplishing, um, it may be um, you may be as a, as a, as a new viewer or if you're obese. Um, morbidly or, or, or super obese or even just class one or two obese or just overweight um, you may think well this is unattainable for me that's you know that's just for her and you know good for her that you know but she's got to be like made of something other than what I'm made of because there's no way that I could do that um, let me encourage you to rethink that uh, skepticism because I will tell you what um, there was a time that I got out of breath walking from my kitchen table to my car, which was parked right outside my door. So, um, hello airplane. Um, and I wouldn't have thought this either um, unless I had seen it with my own eyes. So, don't be don't 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 be discouraged that you know you're maybe so far away from your goal or your dream that you it's almost too overwhelming to start. Um, please don't be discouraged. I did, I got here no faster or slower. I, I did every day. I just focused on today. So, and I just took the next step. 
So for me, when I was class four, super obese, walking with a cane, getting stuck in the turnstiles at Disney World and needing a seatbelt extender for the airplane, um, not being able to ride a carousel, not being able to ride a hot air balloon because I was over the weight limits, my next step was getting to a healthy weight. So I began, I took that step and I, and I used the tools that were available to me. And I want to show you just where I've come from, just because, you know, a lot of you haven't seen my original story um, video, which is at the very bottom of this channel feed. I can't figure out how to get it to the top. So if you scroll all the way down to my very first posted video, you'll see my story. And um, sorry, there's a glare, but that's me. I'm going to, there we go. There we go. That was me um, four years ago. And at that point, I knew, I did know that I would attain a healthy weight. That I knew. I had just ordered my plan. It was on its way in the mail. I knew that I would attain a healthy weight. And I did. I took it one day at a time. I followed the, the program recommendations, all of the instructions. And, you know, was I perfect on plan? No, none of us are perfect individuals. Well, maybe the odd person can, can you know, go the length of time that I went on the plan and being perfect. But I, you know, I realized that it was a daily decision. It was a daily effort for me to get up and decide who I wanted to be today. Um, did I want to be someone who was working toward my health goals or, or going the other direction? And I knew I didn't want the other direction. So I focused on what I wanted. And focusing on what I want, every day, I got here. So um, anyway, just so you know, this is attainable. Um, you know, as, you know, I'm going to give you this little tidbit. If, if you are going to start an exercise plan, no matter what shape you're in, um, and you've never done it before, do definitely um, speak with your doctor and, and, and get, get there okay. That's my recommendation. Um, it's funny, for this, um, for this marathon in France, you have to have a doctor's note, like a signed note with their little stamp on it that, that has the wording that you are fit to participate in a running um, program and, a, and, and, a, and a participate in a, in a race, a competition. It's, it's the law in France. And so I, I went to my cardiologist at Mayo Clinic and I said, what do you think? She said, you're as fit as a fiddle. And she signed it. And then she, you know, took an EKG just to make sure, you know, I've never had any heart issues. Um, but I, uh, I just wanted to make sure that everything was copacetic and uh, that I had her sign off. So she did. And she wants to hear uh, about all my updates um, as well. She wants to hear about it when I get back. So I'm very excited to share with her. Anyway, that caveat, you know, if you, if you have not participated in an exercise program, even if you have before, maybe in college or something, but you want to start again, do, do, do tell your doctor uh, and get, get there okay. Um, that's my recommendation. My hair's doing weird things. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, here's my passport. That's my passport. That's my little cover I got for my passport. Um, and I love these, like, Italian leather kind of, I have journals like that and everything. My passport, I'm so excited. I've got my, my little debit card and my little credit card. And, um, you know, I'm just really excited. So I don't know if I have anything else to say for my, um, for my you know, inaugural here's I'm going to Paris video, um, except that my plan is that um, I arrive in Paris on the 28th of March. I, I start flying there on, on the 27th in the evening out of, out of Phoenix, um, nonstop to London Heathrow, and then hop a puddle jumper over um, to Paris, which is about an hour and 15 minute flight or so from London. Um, so I'll get there at 5 p.m. or so on the 28th, which is Friday, and I'll go check into my houseboat hotel, you know, little houseboat hotel. The hosts live on the boat as well, so they live in another section, and then I've got a little private apartment um, on the houseboat. So I won't be, you know, alone, alone. Um, if any of you are concerned, uh, you know, if I'm traveling by myself in Europe and all that, I have traveled in Europe before by myself, but I will be fine and I will be wise and um, all that good stuff. So um, check in that night and then it's just sightseeing for about a week. I get there on Friday and my marathon is um, not until uh, eight, eight or so days from then because my marathon's on Sunday the 6th of April. So I'm gonna get some good walking in, keep my legs warmed up, um, get some awesome walking in for Paris uh, before my marathon. And then I'm gonna run my marathon on Sunday, um, April 6th, 
I'm also going to take a little side trip to Bruges, Belgium, because it looks beautiful and it's, uh, it's the oldest preserved medieval city in Europe, basically. It's the most, most well-preserved and oldest. So um, I'm going to go uh, spend a night in Bruges and um, take the train over there from Paris and, and, and uh, look around and you know, be, be a sightseer, walk up the stairs of the Bruges Citadel or whatever they call it. Um, such an American. Um, whatever they call that thing, I'm going to go up it. <laughs> um, and so I'll take pictures and I'll do little video snippets and things as, as I walk around. Um, but I will try and do a video every day if I can. Um, to wrap up the day and just let you know what I did, you know, from the deck of the, um, of the houseboat or my uh, hotel in Bruges. Um, I'm also going to go to Versailles for a day, so I'll, I'll take some pictures of that. So, you know, stay tuned. Um, you can follow me on Facebook as well if you'd like to, to get actually the, the still pictures. Um, my Facebook is um, uh, Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Stacy.Phillips. So S-T-A-C-Y dot Phillips, P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S. And so just all one, Stacy dot Phillips. Um, and you can follow me on that and uh, get, get the stills because I make a lot of my uh, profile public. And that's it. Um, that's what I have for you today. Uh, you know, a little tidbit, live your dream. Um, and don't put your dreams in a box. Don't, don't necessarily think of what you think might be possible today. Um, with your capabilities, um, you know, take the next step into health and see what, see what comes of it, you know, so, um, that's all I have for you. You can contact me at Stacy Michelle Phillips at gmail.com. That's S T A C Y M I C H E L L E P H I L L I P S at gmail.com. I am a free certified health coach. Um, and if you do already have a health coach or have had a health coach in the past, uh, please reconnect with them and they can get you on the path to optimal health as well. So um, have a wonderful rest of your day and um, I think my next video log might be from maybe the airport. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. I'm always wondering what I'm going to do next. So bye-bye.